Neighbors say they weren't notified about an alleged rape until two and a half weeks after it happened. Police are still looking for this man and it has residents on edge. I'm here in front of Red Pepper Taqueria in Buckhead where customers reported finding a hidden camera in the bathroom. At around 10 o'clock Wednesday night, a man reported seeing a camera in the ceiling vent of the unisex restroom he was using at the restaurant. He and the woman he was there with told staff about the camera. Managers called Atlanta police who came and took a look at the camera in the vent and were able to remove it. Now, police are saying that the camera was not powered on and there was no memory card inside. The restaurant is still investigating. I'm here with Mr. Ed Sheeran at his very own pop-up shop in downtown Atlanta. Ed, how are you feeling? Never mind, we'll talk to him later. Fans are looking at merchandise and t-shirts, and they're even writing messages to Ed Sheeran on the walls. It's a wonderful time out here, so much energy, and I'm so happy to be here. Right. Let's get the first question and find out who's giving What is the traditional oh, item you. for a one-year anniversary gift? Interns. She said, "What is the what is the traditional um, item for a one year anniversary?" Oh yeah, yeah, the first, yeah, the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, going to be, and this is a guess. I'm, I'm going to totally guess right. this. Okay, all right, let's find out the answer. Yeah. The answer is paper. Yeah, paper. paper. As fans are leaving the Braves game here tonight at SunTrust Park, the water boil advisory remains in effect. Fans got by on just plain old bottled water or just avoiding water altogether. The water boil advisory will remain in effect until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Later today, people have planned to stand in solidarity on 15th Street and West Peachtree for pedestrian and cyclist safety. People are using this event to remember those hit and killed on the roads of Atlanta. Ads from competitors while flipping through our social media feeds. Coincidence, maybe. Wow. But when we got to Planned Parenthood, we received information on how to get a 3D model of our unborn baby. Photos from an ultrasound or a video from an ultrasound. An article on caring for newborns and even an ad for a pro-choice group. We're here live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport where a little boy was injured while taking a ride on a conveyor belt. Family and friends are shocked after local high schooler Elise Purefoy collapsed and died at dance practice earlier today. <laughs> Just last night, I was hoping her, I was hoping her practice her stands for a dance, and now she's gone. And I looked up to her. The day began like any other. Elise's brother Malik dropped her off at practice and then went home. I, I I didn't know, but apparently she uh, she was running and she she just she collapsed. Her friends say they are shocked, but understand that dance is a demanding sport. I know that it's a lot of preparation. It is a harder sport than people like to recognize, but it's a lot that goes into conditioning to being out there on that field, and it takes a lot of hard work. A lot of people look at it as just a, another extracurricular, but it is a sport. The Purefoy family and their friends are asking for privacy during this difficult time, but will notify Eleven Alive as soon as they receive clarification on what actually happened to their daughter. Reporting from Stone Mountain, I'm Peyton Lewis. I was surprised at the reaction from Peyton. She's 19 years old, our intern, and still in journalism school. What caught me off guard was what she took away from all of this. After covering an execution for the first time, she felt hope hearing from people last night kind of it gave me hope i don't know it was it was nice yeah hope for what the future like things being okay you know like all of those people had gone through something and they were okay so so you, know. you don't mean hope about the future of the death penalty you mean hope that someone can yeah. survive through the worst moment of their life and be okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very important lesson to learn. Rockdale County schools are cracking down on speeders. With the release of a new technology called Red Speed, police are hoping to reduce injuries to pedestrians walking near schools. Lieutenant Guy Sanders was able to speak to Eleven Alive and tell us what the police are prioritizing this school year. Our primary concern is the safety of the kids. So when school gets back in, we'll be hitting it hard um, and people just won't realize it until it's too late. Speeders can expect to see small cameras on speed limit signs that will ticket them if they're going too fast.
The cameras in Rockdale will be along Pine Log Road, where the middle school, high school, and elementary school are. Red Speed is a combination of live video and license plate reader. Um, it reads the speed of a car, and if there's a violation, it will send a notice um, that this car has broken the speed limit. Um, anything that it sends us is going to be at least 11 miles over the speed limit, uh, and that's, that's per state law. In Rockdale County for 11 Alive, I'm Peyton Lewis.